Oh, this is how girls see guys. They're five foot eleven and a half, but if you're a five foot eleven guy, you might as well not even exist. Oh my god. Only men will understand the struggle. No, they won't. What do you mean? <laughs> you think women don't struggle with their height as well? Women have life so much easier than men. They don't have to deal with things like being short. Okay, dude. These sorts of guys are straight up up living a fantasy and surely they know that by now oh no it's all chad's fault everything on these subreddits comes back to chad Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing amazing. And welcome to some Not How Girls Work. It's a little bit like the Bad Women's Anatomy subreddit, but for some reason, I think I prefer this subreddit. Instead of just being about anatomy, it's about just anything. And I love reading the stuff that these guys come up with and how many different ways they can blame Chad and women for all their issues. It's a rainy, cold day today. It's super cozy inside. And dare I say, it's a beautiful day for a Vinci video. So yeah, I'm excited for this. It's going to be fun. It probably is a little bit too early in the morning for this, but it'll be okay. I've sort of built up like a bit of an immunity to these sorts of subreddits. I'm a cringe warrior. All right, guys, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. You are all amazing. And let's get into some not how girls work. Enjoy. Yeah, it's hormones. Girls do the uh, solo diddly earlier than boys. Their hormones flow through the air and attract mates to fertilize them. <laughs> Are we talking about gardening? They in turn maternalize quicker in order to tend off to offspring. Mate, what are you smoking? Only the good stuff. I got an A on this paper in college. I'm not a scientist, but even I know that hormones don't flow through the air. Yeah, they're obviously talking about pheromones. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I just don't like how these guys word everything. The females attract mates to fertilize them. Was it one of our latest comments of the days that said that these sorts of guys talk about women like David Attenborough does about animals? That is the truest thing I've ever read. The wild female attracts the mates to fertilize them. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. How boys Google. PC overheating solutions. How girls Google. My PC is overheating how do I fix this? Because my PC is my everything. Oh. <laughs> At this point, I'm honestly just disappointed. It's not even funny. It's not true. If it was true, I don't really know what they're trying to say. Are you saying that girls like their computers more than guys like their computers? I honestly have no idea. Girls. Oh my god, I love French vanilla candle. It smells delightful and it makes me cheer up, boys. Damn, this crap is fire and they're smelling petrol. I don't disagree. Like, petrol does sort of smell pretty good. But who's to say that girls don't like the smell of petrol? But who's to say that girls don't like the smell of petrol? And also, who's to say that guys don't like a French vanilla candle? I'd be down for a French vanilla candle. Oh, this alpha male Twitter page. Why is her, you know what, facing the world instead of facing her man? Surely they're not being serious. Just because you put a green triangle on something doesn't mean you know what you're talking about. So women are supposed to just always face their man? <laughs> what are we even reading at this point? I'm a man and my girlfriend has to always be facing me because I'm her man. <laughs> Every girl on her period. Can I order pizza? Oh, my ovaries. Shut up. I'm going to shave my head. I'm hungry. Chocolate. I'm so still hungry. Oh, these pants fit me last week. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is just a ridiculous joke, but it reminds me of that Simpsons episode when Bart doesn't want to do the test. Oh, my ovary. 
stories. When you're out on dates, don't talk about things like geopolitics, crypto, DNA, tech, etc. Oh, men enjoy that type of conversation. Women want to be teased, made fun of, joked with, and made to felt alive. They want to feel, not think. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you'd know. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, I don't want to talk about geopolitics, crypto, DNA, and tech. Get out of here. Oh, those are sophisticated conversations that men enjoy. Bro. <laughs> I'm not taking advice about women from any of these guys. Okay, this one is about a female League of Legends team. Yeah, and they were gold because there were no female for now. Now that they have a level of the pro player. Therefore, male are more competent than female to play and win at League of Legends. It needs a lot of stress enduring, training hours, etc. And female tends... And female, not females. That's even worse. And female tends to not endure all of that. They just physically cannot do it. So yes, boys have more hours of training and are more experienced because their gender makes them stronger. Stronger for League of Legends? Are you joking? <laughs> Male just give lots of bonuses compared to the female meta. That's not misogynistic. That's simply biology at facts. Oh yeah? <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm pretty sure women can handle playing a League of Legends, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nah, only male can be good at a video game. I can't even begin to understand this sort of stuff. God, I love being expired. It's true, let's face it. Females of age 30 and over have expired. Past this number, they've deteriorated into a less fertile and feminine being. Hence, of less worth to men. Men looking for mating partners should be aware of picking the right females and make sure they are of quality. Make sure they're of quality? Bro, what, like you're buying an avocado? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so tired of these guys. They're so toxic. You have to pick a female of quality. Bro, you're not picking any female. I don't know how they actually think relationships work. You don't just go up to a woman and be like, okay, I choose you. You actually have to form a relationship with the person. I swear to god, they think it's the same as like going and buying a dog or something. Oh yeah, I'll take that one. That one looks like it's high quality. Oh, I'm losing my mind mind here. Your job as a woman is to observe when your man is happy and immediately put a stop to that nonsense. <laughs> you know, like this one's a little bit better than the other sort of posts. It's sort of self-aware. It's a little bit funny. It is a joke. I would prefer to read this sort of stuff than like the terrifying stuff that some of these guys say. That will give me nightmares. Yeah, men blame their shortcomings on their actions and women blame theirs on something else out of their control, as always. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my god, everything we read on these subreddits is guys blaming things on something out of their control. Oh, I wasn't born with a six pack. Oh, I'm not a sexy Chad. I'm not a multi-trillionaire. Or they're blaming Chad, or they're blaming women, or they're blaming, you know, anything but themselves. And like this entire comment is just blaming women women pretty much. Oh yeah, men blame their shortcomings on their actions and women blame theirs on something out of their control. <laughs> Where are the wholesome memes? Beware! Female hormones! And what, you meant to hang that on your door? Yeah guys, I think I am ready for wholesome memes. I really don't want to go tonight. Honey, why? I don't fit in with your friends from work. Oh no, you'll be fine. Wear your blue suit. You always feel more comfortable in that. Gotta say, Frank, you're wearing the hell out of that suit. <laughs> you brought your horse? That's why I don't like going to parties. There's never enough horses. Ask her out. But sir, we lack self-confidence. Just do it. Yeah, that's so good. It's gonna be hard, but you know you need to do it and you know it's the right thing to do. So I'm gonna overcome my fears and I'm gonna ask her out. It could be the best thing you ever do. Which object fits in this hole? You know, it's a square. Yes, right. 
Right. What can you put in this hole? Good bird. And how can you fill the hole in my heart? Perfect. <laughs> Animals are so beautiful. And like having pets is so nice. Chico is asleep on my bed right now. And dare I say, he fills the hole in my heart. Sorry, that sounded really sad. I don't have a hole in my heart. But if I did, he would fill it. I play Minecraft. I play all the high graphics games. Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Overwatch, Fortnite, etc. Uh, but do you play Minecraft? Uh, no. Let's play Minecraft together. Yeah, Minecraft really is like the universal game. Like, I don't care what games you play, just play some Minecraft with me. It's pretty much the only game I've ever been good at. Expensive restaurants, mum, me. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. Yeah, nothing will beat a home-cooked meal, 100%. And if you bring your grandma's recipes into it, it's even better. You bloody fancy restaurants don't stand a chance against our recipes. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you had fun in today's video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you thought. And today's comment of the day goes to fellow channel member, I'm not cringe, I promise. And it's from my latest old people Facebook video. I'm so glad that my parents do absolutely nothing on any social media. Oh yeah, 100%. It's so nice that you're just not on there. <laughs> I can't even imagine the funny stuff that they'd be saying. Alright guys, have a beautiful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, feel free. We'll put a photo of my Instagram on the screen. That's my Instagram. That's my face if you want to see what I look like. And yeah, you can follow me there or you can follow my Twitter or don't. You do whatever you want to do. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with a brand new fun video or maybe two brand new fun videos. I'll see you then.